One of my favorite things about Cape Breton Highlands National Park is their ability to showcase parcels of land that are unique to this area. Today's video highlights the Jack Pine, a tree found only in this small section of the park. The hike itself is mostly inland, with a short stint towards the end of the trail offering some beautiful ocean views. Set aside about an hour to hike this 2.3 kilometer or 1.4 mile loop. Although there aren't many climbs, this trail still gets a moderate rating due to the rugged trail conditions. Standing alone in space, the next closest jack pine forest is almost 200 kilometers or 125 miles away from this one. Bordered by an ocean to one side and a deep valley to the other, this stand of trees lives in a unique location. All throughout this hike, you'll come across rocky paths, all of which are alive with lichens, a very strong moss that bounds itself to the rock. This area is bound by destruction and rejuvenation, most often caused by fire. The two biggest being in 1890 and 1921. White birch and raspberries are among the first to bounce back and inhabit the area after a fire. The breakdown of the spruce and fir trees releases tons of nutrients into the soil, allowing these plants to grow rapidly. Eventually, the growing birch will take all the sun, eliminating the raspberry population. New spruce and fir will begin growing along the boundaries of the birch trees, eventually outpacing them in the growing and taking over the area, reclaiming their dominance. You see, as the wall of fire scorched the area in 1921, millions of jack pine seeds escaped their hard shells as they burst open from the heat. Fluttering to the ground, they were able to survive the already burned forest. It's remarkable in a way. Without the fire, this stand of trees may never have existed. You see, jack pine seeds need temperatures of at least 44.5 degrees Celsius or 116 degrees Fahrenheit to open, temperatures never seen naturally in this area of the world. Without this fire, they would have been trapped in their seeds. How often do we need fires? Well, if you even wanted a new batch of jack pine to grow, you would need to see a fire every 25 years or less as that's how long the seeds can last in their shells. As you progress through the forest, you'll see patches of barren land where the rock dominates and the trees are spaced out. These areas were scraped clean by ancient ice flows in the area. Scraping away at the land underneath, they left only a thin layer of soil, not suitable for most plants to grow on. Sheep laurel, seen here, is one of the few plants that can put up with the acidic conditions and lack of consistent nutrients. Nestled along the side of the trail are ferns, a plant that seems to be able to grow anywhere. Typically green, the leaves have changed to a bright golden yellow on this early October day. The temperatures seem to dictate when this change happens. Only a few weeks ago, the temperatures had started dropping off as expected for this time of year. But on this trip, we enjoyed the effects of a heat wave that swept through the maritime provinces that allowed us to enjoy the colors with the heat, a series of events which don't normally come together. As you get closer to the water, you'll see the terrain thin out and become coastal barrens. What plant life does exist here has to deal with the harsh conditions of the salt water from the sea and that which gets trapped in the air. As we made our way back to the start of the trail, we remembered that this area is slowly being pushed and becoming a spruce and fir forest. As we learned, these trees will outpace the pine, slowly taking over the space. What does that mean? It means eventually, this jack pine forest will no longer exist. And it will only be when disaster strikes again that they'll return and the process 
will start again. Our world is a mysterious place. What may be good for one species may be bad for another. We do all we can to prevent forest fires. Whether you believe the earth has been designed by the hand of God or has grown from its own forces from within the universe, our planet has a way of taking a seamlessly disastrous event and turning it into something beautiful. Remember, this jack pine forest wouldn't exist without forest fires. Why not join us on other trails within Highlands National Park by subscribing to our channel? We have a ton of amazing upcoming hikes, and then we're always on to the next destination to showcase a world filled with beauty, history, and life. To learn more about this and other trails, please visit joshuatravelguide.ca for our written travel guides.